what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so today we are coming with my plans for launch of diablo 4 uh coming june 1 in four days i'm so very excited to play diablo 4 as we all are we all have been having major withdrawals i've been non-stop taking you know Tylenol and ibuprofen to feed the headache from all the withdrawals so um if you guys are interested in joining our discord and joining a great community as well as playing with multiple people on launch and looking for groups and stuff i definitely encourage you to join the discord the link will be down in the description below so starting off guys we are going to be going live on june 1st which is the early access yes i have the deluxe because blizzard gets to steal all my money which is amazing but we are going to be doing june 1st we're going to start our stream at 5 p.m and as soon as the servers go live we are going to be playing i do want to preface that we are going to be doing group play right away and i want to give a big shout out to my community because we do everything in groups we're always looking for groups and we're always having really fun playing together which is why i encourage each and every one of you to join the discord uh now as far as our world tier difficulties we are going to be starting on world tier two i think world tier two is probably the best as far as group play because the additional exp and st stuff is really going to balance out with how fast we're going to be able to get through things however if we have any hassles or if we get wiped by a boss along the campaign or against you know anything and we feel it's too hard whether it's strongholds etc then we are going to drop it down to world tier one just to be even more efficient we want to be as efficient as possible with our time so as we are playing through the story we are going to be focusing on getting our class masteries as well as our aspects or particular aspects for our builds so i do want to showcase some of the aspects that we're talking about here and what i mean by not going too off course from getting certain aspects so for me i am starting off as druid so i'm going to be doing a druid an earth druid build uh which focuses heavily on earth skills as well as using pulverize so all, even though I want all of these aspects, which are all codexes that I can get from the dungeon, my main focus is going to be getting aspect of the earth scene horror, which is in zone five, and then ballistic aspect, which is in zone two. So these are the only two real powers that I'm going to go off course to really get anything else. If we're along the way, like if I'm next, if you know, along the path, we're next to the dungeon that is going to give me the crash stone aspect, then I am going to just snag that along the way. I want to get through the campaign as fast as possible and just enjoy the gameplay. So, but this is what we're going to be doing for aspects. Now, when it comes to the rest of what we're doing, as far as gameplay, we, this also includes our statues of Lilith as well as grabbing our mount. Of course, that we're all going to grab our mount. That's not a big deal, but we're not going to go out of our way initially through the story of grabbing our statues of Lilith. We're going to grab ones that we know where they are along the way, but we're not going to specifically target farm until we complete the story. So now let's get into gameplay and how we're going to go through the game. So the first and foremost, what everybody should be doing is completing the main campaign first. You shouldn't be doing anything else. The devs over at Blizzard have already stated that once you complete the campaign, you're going to be able to unlock the ability to skip campaigns with subsequent characters, as well as unlocking the capstone dungeon, which is the biggest thing, which is the second thing that we are going to be doing. As far as gameplay, we're going to complete the main campaign first, unlock the capstone dungeon and do the capstone. Uh, if we're too weak, then we are going to, you know, farm up some more levels and gear and complete the capstone, which is going to unlock number three which is the world boss and we're going to kill the world boss and we're going to get to world tier three difficulty this is where everything gets absolutely insane as far as legendaries uniques and just being able to do nightmare dungeons which is going to be nuts so after we beat the world boss we're going to have tree of whispers hell tide target farming after that as well as checking out the pvp experience just to really see the overall power of how we're going to get gear uh, and items from, you know, doing the PVP, like turning in those orbs and just kind of experience like ganking players. I mean, who else doesn't want to like just kill a bunch of rogues or sorks trying to kill us and just take all their stuff? I mean, what's better than that, right? Uh, after that, we will be target targeting like completing all our altars of Lilith. We want to complete all of our renown and unlock all those things so we get the, the extra points not only for our Paragon board, but as well as having our extra skill points to finish off our character once we get to 50. So those are kind of really my plans starting June 1. It's going to be an amazing experience. We're really going to have an absolute blast. Uh, my community is very, very excited and we just we group play everything and we really preface on doing things together so i think group play is definitely the way to go so 
Um, this is kind of my layout. I want to show you guys. This is kind of what our layout is and what we're doing for launch, which is really, really cool. I mean, obviously this is just what we're doing and kind of, you know, this may change as we're playing and experiencing new things, whether it's, you know, as we're going through the campaign and just finding cool things, you know, we may find that we need more of our aspects for our builds uh, to become stronger, to, you know, get through the game or, you know, really, really completing, you know, having to target farm levels to complete the capstone dungeon, etc. cetera. Uh, so, and then, you know, maybe once we start doing tree of whispers, then we're going to be able to just really do that. We may not even need to target farm hell tides. So, it's just going to be a really unique experience as we're continuing to play and we're all super super excited to play so um but yeah that's kind of what my plans are for diablo 4 on launch um four days away guys you can see where is it you can see it over there four days or excuse me three days 22 hours it's going to be an absolute blast and i hope that you guys do join me uh we're going to be streaming live over here on youtube so it's going to be an absolute blast please come join me it's going to be a lot of fun so if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Help me get to 10K before the launch of Diablo 4 uh, on June 6th. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.